I'm one of the students who was sued under Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act in what's known as the QUT case. During the previous year, Professor Triggs made a number of comments about 18C and the QUT case to the media that many thought weren't part of the role of the Australian Human Rights Commission president. In hindsight, do you think that the stance of the new president, Professor Croucher, of refusing to engage with the media on political topics is more appropriate? I'll start with Simon Bruni. Um, yeah, look, uh, I, I followed the case that Callum is talking about and the other students, the QUT students who were subject to that complaint, um, and I thought that it was a disgraceful case, um, frankly, and I thought that the way that it was handled um, didn't cast uh, great light on the way that disputes should be resolved in Australia. The secret trial that these students had to go through in the way that the Commission uh, and Gillian Triggs as the President of the Australian Human Rights Commission handled that, I thought frankly was quite disgraceful. And um, the fact that you had to wait so many months to hear about the case in the first instance, the fact that you didn't know that a complaint was made until just days before the conciliation, um, I thought was incredibly sad and a real indictment on the way that these complaints should be resolved. So um, I think that it's a, it's a good thing that the, the Human Rights Commission steers clear of these sorts of controversial debates because at the end of the day it's not up to commissioners paid $400,000 a year to comment on these matters, it's up to you as members of the public to do so. So I think it's a much better change of pace. Gillian Triggs. Well, I think um, perhaps the, to begin, we really have to understand what the role of the Human Rights Commission is. And every year we receive about 20,000 inquiries um, and ultimately formal complaints from the public. It costs the public nothing as a, as a complainant and nothing for the respondent. And the job of the Commission, one of many jobs, is to try to conciliate these matters. In other words, to keep them out of the courts. And normally, in, in the about 2,000 a year that we conciliate, we conciliate successfully in 76% of cases. Sometimes those cases cannot be conciliated, and this was one of them. Um, I think the, uh, my own view is that the Commission did an excellent job. Uh, we met all the uh, statutory requirements, we, uh, and so on. I cannot discuss the details of the case. Uh, except to say that um, all of the Commission staff, and I think I can speak for them at the time at which this matter was considered, uh, all of them were very concerned that it wasn't possible for the parties to reach a conciliation. But if they don't, if they can't come together, then in the end they go, one of the parties, the uh, complainant, has a right to go to the federal court, which happened in this case, and we got a rule of law uh, determination, which, um, which, which was a just one in the circumstances. How, how can you say, though, that, this was, that, that the way that the Human Rights Commission handled this was excellent when mm. Callum and other students' names are dragged through the mud throughout this process? They're not told about the complaint until two days, two business days before the conciliation proceeding. Um, I, frankly, I, I, I just find it amazing that you would stand here and say that you thought that the way that the Commission acted was excellent. 